Alright, hi everyone, a little update. So, I've uh, rewound the coils in a special way, and I think that's going to be a pretty good match for going forward with this. I've got a pretty decent current draw. It had been up at 2.7 amps before with uh, this setup here. But um, now we've got the ability to, with the capacitors, uh, combined with this plate set up here to tune above and below the peak uh, with this dial here, air cap. So these are 360 pico air caps, these two guys, and then this I might have about 200 picos on as well. But uh, the plates, so with these two alone, I was at the edge of the, the end of the capacitance with full capacitance on. Then with adding this, it got dim again. So then I was able to back off on one of these. So giving me full adjustability above and below the peak of the uh, resonance. So uh, here, 1.3 amps now. And the... Uh, Phasing is different from this uh, diagram that I did in the past, so you'll have to <laughs> play around with the ends, uh, just swapping, you know, connections uh, here and there, putting the capacitors above and below, trying that, trying to swap the ends of the primary to see if that gets an oscillation, you know, you'll have to just play around. <clears throat> but, uh... I'd say we're a bit brighter than the last video, and now the special thing about this is that every coil is equal weight. <laughs> so uh, the secondary, which was the uh, base for the measurements, uh, made a, a multiple of four in uh, the length of it, and then figured out what that was based on the weight of uh, the total coil for measuring 20 centimeter pieces of wire and with all the different magnet wire spools so this seems to be a pretty good match I think Tesla himself said that uh, he got the best results when primary and secondary were equal weight so if you're wondering how thick the primary really should be and how thick the output coil should be. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, this seems to be going pretty good. I actually got a bit more brightness when I moved the output coil away from that. But if I move it too far, start to get radiation. So, you can move it down here, but the light seems to dampen, the output coil seems to dampen the resonator, so... But if we move it too far, and then we're out of range. We're off the core, and we start radiating. Oh, and current goes up uh, when the output coil is absent. Or if you turn the light off, uh, the light goes, uh, or sorry, the power goes way up. So, that is sweet. So, now I'm going to try to sneak this stuff onto this board and uh, put a push pull winding somehow onto this thing or try by filer wrap on the output coil. Add a layer to that, see what happens. Um, but, uh, yeah, going by this, you'd uh, be able to get this guy going. Talk to you guys soon.